Hi guys, this is Rob here. I'm a Canva Certified Creative and today I'm going to teach you how to create these custom frames. Many people are asking how to create them and it's not that difficult. So if you stay with me until the end of this video, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to create these custom frames. But before that, consider to subscribe to this channel, leave your like if you like this video and hit the bell icon. There is a link down below for you to try Canva for 45 days free if you wanted to try Canva Pro and also a link of all my templates that you can go there and download them. Okay, let's get into this video. The first thing you need to know is that all these frames that I'm showing you here, they are custom frames and I created them using Canva and PowerPoint. So I'm going to show you something else. This is a wall art that I created with a custom frame that was made using Canva and PowerPoint. The same methods that I'm going to teach you guys now which is really, really cool and very useful. The first thing you have to know is that you will need to get an element from Canva. So in this case, I was looking for couples. I typed here in elements, couple, okay? So don't use the animated elements. They're not gonna work. So you, you, you will want to look for this type of element, the element that you can change the color, uh, preferably these elements with one uh, single color, which is easier to use. So in this case, I can select any of it. In this case, I select this one, which I like, uh, and I'm going to download it. And I will download it as SVG file. So in this case, you will need Canva Pro. There is a link here for you to get Canva Pro. You download it as SVG file, select the page. In this case, I will select here page number two and click on download. After downloading it, we're going to open PowerPoint. So after opening PowerPoint, you're going to click on blank presentation. So you're going to delete everything that you have in here. So you don't need to worry about any of these things. And you're going to click on insert. Then you select pictures. Then you're going to select the picture from file. In this case, I'm using a Mac computer. If you're using Windows, it's probably going to be the same. Then you just select where your SVG file is and select this SVG file. After selecting the SVG file, all you need to do is to click on convert to shape. After clicking on convert to shape, you are just going to remove everything behind that image. In this case, I'm removing this uh, white block here and I'm going to check if something else is in there. So I'm just going to try to select nothing else, only the image. Perfect. So now I'm going to click on the image of this couple and I will select here fill uh, shape fill. So then I select picture and then you can select any picture you want. Doesn't need to be any specific picture, but I will select a special one here. So I just click on it. Done. Now there is nothing else you need to do here on PowerPoint. You just need to click on file, save as, and then you're going to select PDF. So it's really important that you select it as PDF. Now you give it a name. In this case, I'm going to type here custom frame and export. After exporting, all you need to do, you have to go back to Canva, click on create a design and import a file. So now you're going to select that custom frame that you've just created. After selecting that custom frame, it's going to be uploaded to your Canva library. The custom frame is going to be here. So all you need to do is just double click on it to open the document after Canva uh, finishes the uh, importation process. And then you just click on the image and hit delete. So now you have a custom frame that you can use as you please. You can put photos, you can put videos, anything you want using Canva. So if you like that type of video, consider to subscribe to this channel. See you next time. Bye bye.